Hi! Welcome back! Welcome back to the channel! Today, as you can see, I've got my lovely friend here. My lovely friend. My lovely plump friend. Today, we're going to be doing a pumpkin carving! We've got this lovely monster pumpkin here. It literally says it on the thing. Monst m monster? I nearly sound like Nettie Plays then. Monster. Monster pumpkin here. And yes, we are going to be scooping out all the insides and doing a lovely carving for you. So last year I actually did this as well. I did a pumpkin carving and I actually did a creeper on last year's pumpkin. But this time I thought it was only necessary to do something to do with Eva. So what I thought is we're gonna do a Watcher logo into this pumpkin. If you do wanna do Evo pumpkins or anything like that, like the Watcher logo or anything, please do tweet them to me. They're down in the description. It'll be lovely to see them. But let's crack on with trying Trying is the word to make a little, a, a, make something out of this. So I got a selection of tools, selection of tools, be safe, all right? I'm 22 years old. When you get to those ages, you're safe. You, I'm not. Jackson, shut up. See, Jackson's looking over. He's like the guard. He's like, you better carve my pumpkin, boy. Shut up. I've also got a tray just to put the gooey stuff uh, onto it so it's out of the way. And also, I've got a pen to draw onto the pumpkin to do the watcher logo because I've got it right in front of me. But let's crack open this bad boy. Let's try to get this label off first. You can't read it. You can't read it. It says, warning, this product is heavy. So, introduction to pumpkin sculpting with Jim. People are gonna watch this video and be like, be careful, Jim. Anything for the video. It's gonna shake the camera. I'm gonna do it with my hands. Jackson, I can hear Jackson behind me yelling at me. Put it on the desk. I'm like, no, no. Right, that's the top done. I basically cut around the top and hopefully if I do this, it won't go in. <laughs> Let's see if it breaks. You'll, you'll see the reveal. Interesting! Warning to any pumpkin lovers at this point, this is where it gets a little bit messy. There it is! Ah! Oh, this bit's just disgusting. Oh no! He doesn't smell great either. You keep talking about- he's still- I hit the light! If you say one more word, your head's gone. Alright, All right, let's try to get out some of this goo. Oh, this is grim. Uh! What's inside the box? A watcher. A watcher's inside the pumpkin. Grian! Grian, are you in there? Oh, happy days! Oh, happy days! This is definitely the worst part of it. You know? That's enough. That's enough for me. Ah, oh, look at my hand. Look at it. Pop that back in. Pop that back in. There we go. The majority of the seeds are out, all right? But remember when carving, keep the top of it, the bit that you cut off, all right? Because later on, we're going to place that back on, hopefully. Hopefully. Right, I'm going to quickly go wash my hands, and then we're going to draw that bad boy logo on. Honey, I'm home. Honey. Right, grab your finest pen. Your finest pen. And what you're going to do is you're going to mark out a drawing. Right, if you muck it up, you've mucked it up for life. All right, I've drawn it on. Here's the pen version, all right? I'm so bad at drawing. <laughs> what is that? It's supposed to be a bit longer, isn't it? Like that way, it just looks like a square. It should be a bit more tool-wise, but it's a pumpkin and we're dealing with what we can with here. Um, but we are gonna start cutting it out now. So the shapes that I've drawn, all I'm gonna do is cut those out and we'll see the result. Remember, smart people carve the pumpkin. Smart people. Don't point the knife at the camera, Jim. Smart people. I'm gonna do it in my hand again, just because um, it wobbles the desk, which wobbles the camera. I do apologize. The thing with the Watcher logo as well is that it's pretty simple, because it's just a lot of squares and rectangles, which is pretty easy to carve out in pumpkins. All right, one square done, let's keep carving.
Okay, I'm pretty sure I've got out the next point. I was very, very worried because it nearly went so wrong. Um, I nearly went into the other cube. I'll show you. So as you can see, I've, I've cut out this one here. Look at this cut here at the top. I'm so close to going in the other one. We're going to quickly punch out this bit. Just got to do some tidy up work because uh, it's a bit... It's a bit cut. I gotta go wash my hands again, man. Jeez, it's a messy job. Right, I'm back. We got two more spaces to do. Guys, this is harder than I thought it was gonna be. If you make a wrong mistake and you've only got one pumpkin, it's not gonna be fun. Um, so just be careful when you're cutting it. Another one! See, this is the second time I'm ever covering, carving a pumpkin. I actually can't remember carving a pumpkin when I was younger, but look how close I got to the line here. Look how close I was. So, it's a bit of a rough job at the moment, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. Um, I've got one more section to do, then we're going to clear it out and we're going to light it up. So here's the final result of the cuts. I think it looks actually really good. Um, some bits is a bit thicker than what I wanted. Uh, like up here it's a bit thinner, uh, up here it's a bit thicker, I don't know. But I think for a first try that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is basically scoop out all the insides with a big spoon. Um, get it really nice and clean so there's no like stringy bits like this, you can see all the stringy bits. I'm gonna wipe off all the excess pen that you can see around the sides, and then we're gonna light it up. Right, let me go get a big spoon. This might take a little bit of a while, so... If we speed up this process, that'll be good. Okay, so I've scooped out literally as much as I can. Um, it's still, 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 still stringy as anything. A little bit of a warning in this as well, you're gonna have to wash your hands a lot. I've been five times already. So now that we've scooped out as much as we can, right, make sure you've got like a little wet paper towel, get rid of the paper, uh, get rid of, I'm gonna get rid of the pen lines if I can. So get rid of as much pen as you can when you used it. There we go, so I've wiped off all the pen. That actually, duh, I'm very happy with this now. I'm very happy with this now. I know the Watcher logo is quite, um, it's like a rectangular more than square, but with a pumpkin like this, you can't really get rectangle pumpkins, can you? Um, so I'm really happy with this. The last thing you gotta do now is make sure that you've got a candle or some sort of light source that can go inside and let's put a candle in, let's light it and let's see how it looks. I will end with putting the candle in and lighting it up and showing you what it looks like in the dark. But before we do go, make sure you do like this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. And also, it's currently four days before Halloween. And this is coming out on the Saturday. You've got a chance yourself to make some Watcher pumpkins and send them in to me. Uh, my Twitter is down in the description. I would love to see them and see what you guys come up with. Right, let's light it up. Got myself a cute little purple candle. Once you got your candle in, make sure you put the top back on. Mine's so out of shape that it's not going back on, but doesn't really matter. You can only just about see me, but look, this is the Watcher logo. It does look too, a bit too square for me. I think it's a good first attempt. <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you lovely people next time. Bye.